Hi, I'm Alex Long, and I'm 17 years old, and I'm part of the Roswell Park Summer Research Program. So in the first couple weeks, um, learning how to correctly uh, do lab procedures was probably the hardest thing. Um, remembering to label everything, remembering to make sure that you did everything that you were supposed to do and that you didn't uh, mess anything up. But I mean, in the beginning, like it's science, everyone in the beginning makes mistakes, so it's not really that big of a deal until you just have to admit to it and then get better at it. It's funny, um, when you were like, whenever you would mess up in a lab and you'd want to vent to someone, it's kind of like hard to because everyone who you would want to vent to has no idea what you're talking about and everyone who um, you could vent to, you don't really want to be venting to them. So basically, um, when you're here, it's all about uh, trying to not mess up, but if you do, you, you kind of just have to accept it and then move on. You can't like go and uh, make things better just by talking to someone about it. You have to redo the lab or redo the experiment. So, this is kind of a big deal for me because um, my mom actually just started working here um, and my dad used to have cancer. So, um, Roswell is kind of like intertwined in our family. So, I thought it would just be a logical step forward. and. They're really supportive of the whole research process and they like to hear what I'm doing so it's really nice to have like a firm base of people who know things about Roswell. Well when I uh, researched uh, what I was going to do for my um, rising senior summer I definitely researched a lot of different places and no place allowed me to do as much research as the Roswell one would allow me to do. Um, it was really comprehensive and it was seven weeks long and a lot of the other things like at colleges or um, uh, other institutes, they weren't nearly as long and weren't nearly as comprehensive. Um, this program has a class and you bond with um, friends, you make new friends and you get to talk to people about uh, things that you wouldn't normally get to talk to your usual friends about. Like, we've had conversations about uh, genetics and chemistry just because uh, we're interested in it. And if you come here, uh, you find kids who are just like you, but they're also really driven, so it propels you to do better. And then that just sets you up perfectly for senior year, especially for um, applying to colleges, because you have a better insight on who you're going to be applying with. This program is definitely going to prepare me for future college endeavors, especially when I have to work in a lab. I know how to do almost all of the um, beginner level lab procedures, and I know them by heart now because I've done them at least ten times in the course of these seven weeks. Um, I now really know the importance of notes and will never ever do any lab procedure without taking copious notes. I know how I'm supposed to succeed in the lab. I know what it takes to um, do a good lab procedure and this is going to be immensely helpful especially in college when I'll be taking bio and chemistry and organic, organic chemistry where I'll be having to do these same things and now I'll be a step up and a lot of other kids won't be. Right now we're at the poster presentation seminar for all the high school and college students that finished the program. And I obviously finished the program. And um, well, here I am. So excited that it's all done. Really accomplished. Really happy that everything's over. And now I can just present this to everyone who walks by. And I'm kind of proud of it. Enriching. Enriching? Enriching. That's a really good word. That's an SAT word. <laughs> 
I just wanted to say thank you to everyone in my lab, Dr. Fenn, Dr. Chow, uh, Ben, Palouche, um, Peter, and especially um, Dr. Wong for being a great mentor, and I couldn't have asked for a better experience.